What are you reading? It's a little, little something. A little something yeah. in between breaks, yeah. Oh, yeah. What is it, though? Can you see it with yeah, your no, eyes? Yeah, Well, of course, Ben. Yeah, well, what, what's the name of the book, then? The Superwoman Survival Guide. Oh, you can see it. All right, then yeah. read, read some bits of it, then. Sure, sure. <laughs> no, 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 no. Read it out loud. Okay, no, I will. Today, I put on my cape and, uh... No, it's not about that. It's about, it's about you know, empowering yourself and stuff. I think. I don't know. I'm not reading it. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> I'm not against reading, just not when the TV's on. <laughs> Jeff, I'm worried about a current affair, something that's happening in the news. Yeah, what's going on, man? It's this, uh, this Russian thing with the, uh, you know, the Russians and the Ukrainians and such. I'm concerned. Was that, is that the thing where Ellen passed up pizza? No, 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 no. Oh, no, okay, all right, so. No, it's not as important as, as that. All right, but it, it is all right, important. Okay, all right, all right. No, it's, it's worrying me because this Putin fella, right? I'm thinking to myself, you know, he's, uh, he's got uh, soldiers there to protect the Russians that are in the Ukraine. Right. Yeah. Do you remember there was a guy in Europe a while ago that had, you know, there were Germans in Poland and he wanted to protect them? Yeah, yeah, I remember that, yeah. How did that work out? It didn't work out so No, all right. <laughs> but then it wasn't the same because he didn't take a small uh, minority of his population and persecute them for what they were, did he? Oh, what? No, wait. No, he did. No. He did. He did. He did. But then again, he didn't have, you know, a massive sporting event before his, you know, quest for world domination in order to make his country look like it was really... Uh, yeah, I think, yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my caramba! Sponsored by IHOP. Celebrate IHOP's National Pancake Day on Tuesday, March 4th, 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. with a free short stack of buttermilk pancakes. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. I'd like to thank you and the Academy, and I'd like to thank my agent, and I'd like to... The music's coming up. I'm not listening to the music. No, no, I'm still talking. I'd like to thank my gay skeleton robot. I'd like to thank... I'd like to thank my recent... No, 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 don't play the music! Don't play the music! Not yet. I'd like to thank my uh, racist uh, friend over here. Yeah, yeah. I'd like to thank my horse, who's not a real horse. Uh, <laughs> It was really good. That was really good, man. Well, it was, wasn't it? Yeah, I believe Let's it. Let's be honest, that was better. It was better, yeah. Well, it was shorter. It was much shorter, yeah. yeah. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, it's a great day for America, everybody. Why? Why? Why is it a great day for America? Well, uh, the, the Oscars is finally over. At least I think it's over. I, know I stopped watching a couple of hours ago, but I think it's over now, isn't it? I think it's still going. I'm no, no. So I, you know what? I stopped watching when they made that joke about Liza Minnelli. What? <laughs> I will not stand for that. Liza Minnelli is my spirit animal. You have a fabulous spirit animal. You do. Yes, I do, Jeff. Yes, you do. Yes, I do. <laughs> From what I hear, the stars really let loose at the after parties at the Oscars. There are rumors in Hollywood right now, girl. Mm -mm -mm. There are rumors. <laughs> oh, no, you didn't. Oh, yeah, I did. Let me tell you. There are rumors that Angelina Jolie ate a carb last night. 
Just, just one carb, a carb. When she came out, though, I wanted to do her to do that thing with her leg. Remember that? Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Yeah, she didn't do it last night. <sighs> also, a great day for Florida today. Oh, this is a big one. Yes, it's a big one. <laughs> <laughs> On this day in 1845, the state of Florida was admitted into the union. So it's 169 today. Happy birthday, Florida! Are we got a graphic for that. Come on. <laughs> that was the Spanish explorer Ponce de Leon. You don't get names like that anymore, no, do you? No, no, you don't. Uh, Ponce de Leon, he discovered Florida and called it La Florida, which means land of spring break. And <laughs> he, Ponce de Leon discovered Florida while he was looking for the fountain of youth. And I'm thinking, oh, the irony. <laughs> Florida's got a lot of old people, you see. Yeah, older. Right. Nobody knows if Ponce de Leon ever found the Fountain of Youth, but since he died in 1521, my guess is probably not. <laughs> what do you think? No, I don't think so. I don't, no, think, I don't so. think so, no. You're not Ponce de Leon, are you? It's true, I am. All right, then, let's hear you speak Castilian Spanish from the 15th century. Taco <laughs> Bell. What, Yaro, Yaro, Taco, Taco Bell? Brito, Brito, Brito. For legal reasons, no, I did not say the name of the restaurant. All right, no, okay, no. yeah, fair enough. For legal reasons. Oh, yeah, you go, you're on his side now. No, 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 he, he talks to me before the day. He whispers in my ear, he says things to me. Does he say mean racist things yeah, to you? Yeah, he's a racist. He's evil, you're he's a racist, racist. Man. racist. Do you know what he is? He's a reverse racist. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that is. Anyway, have we got a map of Florida? I mean, let's see, yeah, Florida, there. Now, there you are, got coke in the news already. Tita Jacksonville, hi, Chad, Margaret. Yeah, all of the, there's the, uh, basically, basically crocodiles, alligators, no people. Every time I've gone to Florida, though, I've had a great time. A couple of years ago, we did, we did a Super Bowl show in Miami. I got a tattoo down there. And, and also one in Miami. Oh, hey, hey. Ah, there you go. Oh, hey. Yeah. Big sports in Florida, though, it's huge. They've got a bunch of professional teams. They've got the Miami Dolphins, Miami Heat, uh, Jeff. The uh, Fort Lauderdale Wiener Dogs. <laughs> okay, uh, they got the Orlando Blooms. They got uh, you got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Oh, the uh, Tallahassee Ticklers. Got those guys. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the Naples nipples. <laughs> the Key West Chicken Breast. The South Beach Hairless Cats. <laughs> the St. Petersburg Petersons. Yeah, the audience is getting bored. Yeah, and yeah, so yeah. Yeah. The, last, the last laugh there wasn't really a laugh. It was more kind of a... Uh, uh, <laughs> move on, fellas, move on. <laughs> lot of big tourist attractions in Florida. One not as well known, though, is Ernest Hemingway's house. Now, when Hemingway was not writing, drinking, and wrestling alligators or old people, he lived in Key West with his polydactyl cats. Polydactyl cats? <laughs> Craig, I thought I knew everything about cats. What's a polydactyl cat? I will tell you, cat lady who watches this show. <laughs> it, well, only one? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's a cat. <laughs> it's a cat with six or seven toes on each paw. Hemingway collected them, and their six and seven toe descendants still roam the house to this day. It's open to the public. That house has more claws than, 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 than an episode of Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. <laughs> Because I thought a polydactyl cat was a cross between a pterodactyl and a cat. Yeah, that's true. That's well, it's true. not true. It would be terrifying, though. Terrifying and adorable at the same time. <laughs> Do we have a picture of a polydactyl cat? Yeah, like that. That would be it. <laughs> I like that thing, don't it's you? Cute. It's adorable. Yeah, let's give it a name. Um, give it a name. Oh, you want to do this again? Yeah, yeah, do it again. All right, uh, Catzilla. Catzilla. Uh, yeah. All right, yeah, all right. Dr. Ferocious? Uh, a Yarnivore? <laughs> Regis? That's good. Yeah, yeah. That's good. Let's think we're, we got a picture of Regis? There he is. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's enough. That's it? You don't? Yeah, I don't want to go on and on. People are sick of speeches. That's yeah, too much, man. Yeah, no, we it's like about it. speeches, speech after speech. Do you think the Oscars would be that popular if they just said pretending instead of acting? Like, acting is pretending, right? Yeah, so if right. you said, you know, like, and the award for best pretending, <laughs> people would be like, well, that doesn't sound very impressive at all. 
No, it's not real. It devalues it. Yeah, yeah. Devalues. No, you have to call it acting because pretending doesn't sound that good. Best pretending in a motion picture. <laughs> The thing about pretending is it's so, so difficult. <laughs> One has to dress up in clothes, not necessarily one's own. <laughs> and then pretend. <laughs> <laughs> it's very difficult. For example, Jeff, yes. pretend you are talking to me. Yes, now I am pretending to talk to you. Hello, Craig. This and, I will, and I will to pretend to be Dracula. Yes, be Dracula. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I am Dracula. It is a pleasure to meet you, Dracula. And you see, that's what really acting is all about. <laughs> we'll be right back, everyone. We'll be right back. our agents we'd like to thank our agents and sure. all I'd like to thank all the little people <laughs> very nice I'd like to thank the engineers the people that put me together uh, I'd like Mahara. to thank really I just like to thank everyone under five foot <laughs> everyone under five foot tall thank you thank you for the hard work that you do that the public just don't get to see <laughs> because you're small Craig, are you talking about children? Not necessarily. The, you, you get tall children, don't you? Sure, sure you do. Yeah, yeah. My kids are 6'5". You have... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have kids? I didn't know you had kids. Yeah, I got kids all over the place. Hell yeah, yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. yeah. I had no idea. I thought, you know, as a uh, once formerly alive gay man, you probably wouldn't have... <laughs> Not that gay people can't have children. Of course they can. Sure, but sure. I just didn't... I, I, I did, are they biological kids? Yeah, or? yeah, I had my dalliances, I had my adventures what before. What do you mean? Yeah, sure. So what you're saying, you, you were a heterosexual for sure some time? Sure I was, sure, yeah. I, I tasted the fruits, yeah, I understood, yeah. The fruits? What, the fruit being, oh, you're, like orange is not the only fruit? Like That's the, right, the yeah. orange is not the only fruit. It's a book by uh, Jeanette Winterson, and it's about, you know, love, love ladies have for other ladies. That's right, yeah, sure. Oranges are not the only fruit. That's right. And then I enjoyed, you know, two oranges and a banana. It doesn't ah, matter. It's all the same. It doesn't matter. Oh, it doesn't come on. Oh, come on, man. Come on. What I'm the trying, hell, man? No, no, don't encourage that kind of thing. <laughs> Look, I'm kind of worried. I'm, I'm still concerned about this thing going on in the Ukraine. Not as much as I'm concerned about the Oscars. Okay, I understand. I understand. I understand. <laughs> or your ever-growing life that I knew nothing about. Well, I'm... <laughs> I'm writing a book, and you'll, you'll uh, see it. You'll know it all soon. You'll know it all soon. Is it a tell-all book? It's a tell-all, man. You better watch your ass. <laughs> I, I, I haven't done anything. It's fine, man. I changed your name. Don't worry okay, about it. Okay, yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, nobody calls me anymore. Oh! What the hell? Hello? <laughs> Hello there. Hello? Is this Vladimir Putin? It certainly is, yes. <laughs> what the hell are you doing, man? Yet. Yet? I don't think yet. I think things are looking a little bit Hitlery over there, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's enough. Borscht. <laughs> like that guy. Interesting. Interesting guy. Interesting guy. Watch yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Careful. I think he's watching the show right now. I don't know, man. I don't know. All I'm saying is, careful. You never know what's happening. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Craig, don't be absurd. This is not... Uh, you know what? Read a la. history book. Yeah. See what this guy's doing? Guess what? Not the first time it's been done! <laughs> Craig, are you... Now, you know what I'm saying! But I'm saying it in code so that CBS don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm trying to reach you, the person with a mind. Yes, you! Wake up! <laughs> this Crikey. is up to some bad Crikey. shit over there! <laughs> Can I say that? <laughs> Why not, man? It's political Damn. commentary. You're a racist. Racist. You're a racist and you're a censor... Sensory. Sensory. Yeah, you're a sensory racist. You're, you're against people having feelings. You're That's a sensory right, you racist. Are. Yeah. 
What? Yes, I'm against the sense of smell. I think smells should be outlawed. It's un-American. What? But there's so many great smells. Apple pie, ladies. No! Oranges, bananas. Oranges. <laughs> All right, come on, come on. All right, what time is it, Jeff? It's tweet mail time. Time to take advice from Eliza Minnelli stunt double and the reanimated bones of Ponce de Leon. <laughs> Let's play our jingle. Sure. Yeah. All right. <laughs> this is from Mika in San Dimas, California. You ever been there? San Dimas, great place, good water park. Uh, Craig, I thought I saw Jeff at the Oscars on Sunday. Was he there? I don't know. Were you there? Yeah, I was there, yeah. Uh, who were you with? I was there with uh, Mickey Rooney. <laughs> <laughs> Mickey Rooney? Mickey Rooney, that's right, yeah. That's, that's for our, uh, our demographic. Yeah, all right. Yeah, sorry about hey, that. Hey, Mickey Rooney was in the classic movie Breakfast at Tiffany's. You remember that? Yeah, Mickey Rooney, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You, you, yeah he, played a, he played a character that yeah, wasn't we can't, originally... Yeah, we can't show that. No, no, we can't show you or we can't do it, but you would enjoy it. Yeah, you would. Yeah, you would enjoy it. <laughs> Uh, this is from Davis in Greenwich, Connecticut. Don't you can tell, Davis is a weird looking... Oh, uh, boy. <laughs> Davis uh, says, Craig, did you visit your old stomping grounds while you were in New York City? I was. I was in New York City at the weekend. And yes, I did. I went to Venero's Bakery on 11th Street. You ever been there? Oh, good place. Yeah, oh, sure. My, they, they make the best cannolis. I had lovely cannolis when I was there. I'd also some pastry. Yeah. <laughs> They do, though. I love it. I love it there. Very good. They do yeah. them very well there. That's authentic. And th this, this, uh, this uh, lady came over to me. I was sitting at my table. I was having a cannoli, and this lady came over and she said, Hi, I'm Ali. I watch your show. Like, I should have been surprised. <laughs> and the thing is, I kind of was. Yeah, it's always shocking when people admit that. You know? Yeah. She liked you, too. She said that she liked your work. Well, that's great. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> Uh, careful, you never know who's watching. What are you talking about, man? I'm just like, I'm just like, I've got an itchy shoulder. <laughs> man, this job's really getting to you. What the hell's going on over there? What a spasm. Uh, <laughs> uh, this is from Lisa in Desert Hot Springs. She's very young, Lisa. Look, she's an egg. Uh, <laughs> Says, Craig, if you were going to host any award show, which would it be? Let me say this categorically. I've been asked many times to host various award shows. Here's my answer. No! I don't want to host your show. Let me add to that, if I may, Jeff. Please, please do. I don't want to be part of your Tootsie Fruits club either. I don't want to host your show. I don't want to be part of your club. say another thing. A demographic? Do you know what that is? That's a grouping of people together by age. Do you know what that's borderline? Racism! That's what it is! Are you telling me that I think the same as every other 28-year-old? <laughs> Stop putting me in a... No, no one puts baby in the corner. You understand me? Sorry, man, this is putting no, I things together. That was good. We were right back. Yeah. demystify show business for any of you, but one of those girls was chewing gum. <laughs> Isn't that terrible? And a night on this, the night of a thousand stars. <laughs> I'm not going to say which one it was, but it was Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> My first guest tonight is actually very classy. I don't know what the hell she's doing on this show. She's a great television host and journalist. Her new show, The Meredith Vieira Show, starts in September. That's a clue to who she is. <laughs> who is it? Katie Couric? No! <laughs> Meredith Vieira! Nice! Wait, can I? 
one thing to say. You have one thing to say? That's not going to be enough. What the uh -oh. am I doing on this show? <laughs> I am a wow. little. I'm a little worked oh. up about this Putin thing. It looks to me historically like it has echoes of something pretty nasty that happened before. That's all I'm saying. But you knew that. You knew what you were getting with him, didn't you? That doesn't make it okay. No, it's, of no. course it's not okay. What do we do? Um, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what we do. All it's only my job to point out stuff and then <laughs> run away and hide. <laughs> I feel that that's my job. But look, this is happening. <laughs> ah! Who's the racist here? Uh, the, the, the Mike over there. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah. That's terrible. That's not good. Well, at least you know what you're getting. Yeah, exactly. You know, uh, <laughs> he had it on his resume. Uh, well, I'm a racist, if that helps. <laughs> <laughs> He's I want to see your tattoo that you talked about. Uh, well, oh, I... No, 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 not that one. The... The one down under. No, you can't see that. Because, Why? Because it's not in the state that it needs to be to be do seen. You, do you honor... But... Do... <laughs> But can I And that state is Florida. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but do you have one? Well, on my peepee? -pee? Well, I don't know. If you... no. No. Okay. no, I have five tattoos, but they're all... Not on your... No, no. no. Okay. Do you have a tattoo? I don't have one. Well, it's about time, girl. I'll do yeah. it right now if you want to. Well, I'll, I'll give you a tattoo. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> nah, I don't have... I've only got these. Uh... Oh, I know all about those. <laughs> I went out with a cop once. I did, honestly, really? in Milwaukee, and he, yes. And he what? He, uh... <laughs> he, he arrested you he for arrested adorable? <laughs> really? Yes. That's kind of cool. Just once. Yeah. 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 Oh, that makes it okay? <laughs> I mean, not that it's It was wrong. house arrest. Uh, house? Home, yeah. Well, that's fine. That's mm -hmm. nice. Oh, like you've never done it. I do this all yes, please. Actually, please. I gotta say, I think, I think some of these people have never done it. I, I've got to be honest with you, I have never done it. You don't do anything that's kind of... What, what I feel like I should, but no, I... <laughs> you look like you would. You look I like know, you, I that's know. the trick, but no. Exactly. Oh, yeah. I'm, I don't really either, but... <laughs> once, once. Once. Well, once, okay, once, if you only okay. did it once, that's fine. It doesn't, <laughs> I'm glad doesn't make so it a habit. <laughs> yeah. Hey, congratulations on your Mary of Vieira show. Thank you. Daytime, that's where the money is. Is it? Oh, yeah. It's Judge not, Judy no. makes $400 million yeah, a but year. That's Judge Judy. Judge Judy, like, will, will you be judging people? No, I will not. I am not judgmental. I no. will not be doing that. No, I don't know. I think you should. Really? A little bit. Just uh, as a section of the show, get people to come on with their grievances and you wear a robe and judge them. <laughs> people will love it. I don't know. Meredith Court. And then, you know, you're just like, no, you have to pay. Yes, and I decide whether guilty or not guilty. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And you, you, you use your power for good. Instead of the evil that Instead I normally do. Instead of evil Meredith exactly. Fierre. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. The manipulative Meredith yeah. Fierre. I'll be the good Meredith No, but you, is, it, is it going to be like... Um... I don't have to tell you what it's going to be. <laughs> it's no, not... it's, it's, you don't have to tell me, but I mean, I kind of wonder why be... you would come on the show and talk about it, though. <laughs> like, I want to talk to you. Somebody told me this would be... No, it's going to be a, com a kind of a... <laughs> <laughs> It's, I've been in the business a long time, and I've done a lot of different kinds of shows. I've done news, you know, like 60 yeah. Minutes, so I'm a storyteller. I did The View for nine years. Yeah, I did yeah. the Today Show for five years. Yeah. I did a game show like you're about to do. Yeah, I'm going to do a game show. For 11 yeah. years, and so it's kind of a combination of all those talents put together. Wow, Yeah, it's going nice. to be fun. It's, it's daytime talk, but it's not just talk. But you have hard news stories on it as well? Not so much, maybe. Uh, we will have inspirational stories. Inspirational that stories, kind of yeah. Stories. Like, yeah. like it's someone's not a pet can show. ride a bike or something. Somebody's pet? Yeah, you know, no, pet. Oh, pet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pet, pet. Like if someone, if someone maybe somewhere. I in think the... it'd be a little deeper than if a pet could. Well, probably not. We'll have a pet riding a bike if we have. <laughs> we'll do. We'll do. You have more to what tell we have to do. <laughs> you know television oh, very baby. well. Yeah. It's all right. Do you miss the view? I, I still watch it. Um. Uh, you know what? I miss the the ladies that I do, and I missed live television a lot. But I did it for nine years. You yeah. have to know when to leave. I've been doing this for nine And Barbara years. told me when to leave. Oh, really? That that? Was, no, she She's very powerful. Very, oh, She's very powerful. A snake in the grass. Yeah, she... <laughs> no. no, she... Oh, she please, she... Oh, come oh, on. What's wrong with you? God, the oud meat that earlier on I did a joke and they went, oh. No, she's... She's fantastic. She's she, great, but She's I, like Mr. Burns, but a lady. <laughs> you know, like Mr. Burns in The Simpsons? Oh, uh, yes. Yeah, but she's... So it's like... No, she's... 
Yes, yes, she's no, like, she's... excellent. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't like it when people do that. Oh, she's, she's okay about it. She's great. But I knew, like, I knew I wanted to try something different. And yeah. that's when the Today Show came along. And, I, and you leave when you're still, you don't want to leave when you're down. Well, that's why I'm still here. <laughs> <laughs> It's going to be in New York, though, right? The show. Yeah. 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 It's You're a New Yorker, it's a right? Um, I'm a New Englander, actually. I'm from Rhode Island. Yeah. Really? Yes, I'm from Rhode Island. Do you still live in Rhode Island and commute? <laughs> no. <laughs> I thought that you may have a helicopter so or something. Oh, no. Come I on, you got helicopter. money. Yeah, you got I, money. I don't have that kind of money. I don't have a helicopter. Where, get out of this helicopter <laughs> over here right now. She's going to Rhode Island. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> live outside New York, but oh. not all the way outside New York in Rhode Island. Well, I, I live outside New York, too. I live in Los <laughs> Angeles. I, I was in New York at the weekend, though. Were I, you, why were you in New York? Well, I had to go and do a bit of business. What was that? I don't have to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> was it personal or professional? No, no, it was uh, for this game show thing, actually, oh, that I'm doing. So are I had you to negotiating go... still? Or no, you... no, no, it was to go and meet the advertisers, you know that thing? Oh, you... sure, the dog and pony thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. How did you do? Ah, uh, great. I, you know, I kissed ass like a good one and came <laughs> home. But, uh... The game shows, you're going to love it. Yeah, I, I think I'm going to enjoy love it. it. Yeah, yeah, it was fun. You did Millionaire for how long? Eleven years. Good Lord. Eleven years, yeah. How long do you hope to host? <laughs> About a three or four months, I think would be fine. <laughs> You're be fabulous. Yeah, You're I think we're fabulous. Gonna, I'm going to enjoy yeah. it. I'm yeah. going to look forward to it. We have to take a commercial break. Okay. Are you familiar with that? I certainly am. All right, we'll be right back with Meredith Vieira. <laughs> We're back, oh, by the way. We're back. Meredith Vieira, everybody. We're... Oh, no, that's before the break. And then yeah, after yeah. the break, I go, welcome back, Meredith Vieira. Because it's no good going, Meredith Vieira! Oh, yeah, she's still here. Yeah, exactly. Did you go to parties last night at all? No. No, no I see. I have a... Um, I used to hate all that, and now I just have kids. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, I can't... Yeah, I know. I can't did, you, did you watch... Yeah, I did watch yeah. a bit of it. Yeah, I, I, I kind of came and went. I mean, I don't really do four-hour television shows no, anymore, no. but I, uh, but I watched the bit. It seemed all right. Everyone seemed delighted when they won. And yeah, I love Jared Leto. He was the first one to win, and he when he thanked his his mom, and it was so sweet. Yeah. And I have three grown children. I thought they would never do that for me. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I almost because I'd been having a little to drink, not a lot, but a couple of glasses to four, maybe a glasses of wine, <laughs> and I. Um, <laughs> And by the so that's early on. There was yeah, the first yeah, award yeah. given out. I was going to say, yeah. To like cry a little bit, and I was going to call my kids, and if somebody advised me not to, because that's a good that idea. will not turn out well. That will not turn out well. Whenever you've had a couple of drinks and you think I'm going to phone, just stop there and don't. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. It's or pretend. Yeah. Fake it's, phone. Yeah. Fi <laughs> I think it's one of your kids. Hello. Mm. Hello. Yeah. Hi. Hello, Ma Mom. Hi, Lily. How are you? Oh, good. I mean, uh, I'm good. good I'm huh? good. Did you happen to see the awards last night when Jared Leto thanked his mom? Yeah, um, I, had, I actually had to, <clears throat> I think I was in the bathroom. I had to go to the bathroom oh. or something. I missed that. Well, honey, would you do that for me someday? Sure, sure I would. Really? <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> uh, you uh, ungrateful little... Hey! Come on! I'm sorry. No, my dear, she's lovely. I'm, I'm still here. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, my wow. No, no, it's all right. It was just the voices in oh, your head. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Do you ever hear things in your head seriously? Not since I stopped taking hallucinogens. Oh. I sometimes do. I play things over in my head. You don't do that? How long has this been going on? <laughs> Since I was a little girl, actually. Mm. Mm -hmm. What does the voices tell you to do? Do they tell you sometimes to do naughty things? Naughty, naughty things. things, yes. Mm, like which naughty thing? Describe a naughty <laughs> thing, and describe it slowly. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's. <laughs> it, it, it starts out as a picnic. <laughs> I see. And what's on the menu? 
oranges. Ah. <laughs> I'd like to offer an apology. Apparently, Lisa was not chewing gum. <laughs> she said, I was not chewing gum. It was a tic-tac. <laughs> <laughs> She's from Sweden originally. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, that's what she said. Yeah, I'm yeah. going to get in trouble in a minute yeah, as well. Yeah. Anyway, look, my next guest is a star of a big TV show. What? What's he doing here? <laughs> He's on the show How I Met Your Mother, which is Monday nights at 8 on the great CBS network. <laughs> you whores. <laughs> Take a look at this. Josh Radner, everybody. Josh Radner. On I got li I got lipstick, lipstick on. Lipstick right there. I think that's from Meredith Vieira. I, I think it was. I made out with her a little bit. I, or, I don't know. Did yeah. you make out with Meredith Vieira? No, no, no. We had a lovely hello backstage though. <laughs> what? With tongue? Was there tongue? Yeah. In our hello? Yeah. To form the words that we said. <laughs> okay, okay, we totally made out. No, thing. you did not make out with Meredith yeah. Vieira, did you? No. How, how, what, how is this No, happening? I don't even know. You started it, man. <laughs> how are you? Let's... I got nervous that my socks were too... And then I saw yours, and I thought, I'm fine. These are not socks. The, these, are, these are tights. Oh, they go yeah. all the way up? Yeah. Mine stop, but... Well, that's... You can do it that way, too. Yeah. Yeah, I know. You look good, man. You Thanks. Go, yeah, tie Thanks. and shoot. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Because the show's coming to an end, right? Yeah, we, we finished shooting Friday night. Oh... Yeah, and, yeah. Then, and then you'll have to go and pretend elsewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've been pretending so long. You but be... I have a degree in pretending. Well, so there I... you'll be all right then. Yeah. Yeah, you'll be all right. Yeah. Uh, the, the, it'll be... That's sad. What was it? Like it 15, was... 20, 25 years? 25 years. 25 years? Yeah. Yeah. It's a uh, great show, though. I mean, I really made a lot of money for CBS. I hope they've... <laughs> yeah. I hope they, you know... That's what I... That was my goal when I said, I just want to make a lot of money for this corporation. <laughs> Yes, I know that. They were, they've been very good to us. They've yeah, no, they have been us. very good to yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, they have. <laughs> Not good to you. No, they're great to me. They're uh, they're fantastic to me. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Talk to me. Give me the pipe. Give no, me the pipe. No, 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 no. <laughs> the pipe's all mine. Are you in therapy? Am I not? <laughs> not at the moment. Well, let's see. Let's have a look at it. How was your childhood? Difficult? Um, are we? Is this for real? Sure. <laughs> Sure, these people will it was, all not it was, listen. It was not. It was a child. You know, it was still a childhood. I was small. Did you have to? And then I got bigger. Did you have to clean chimneys for Mr. Scrooge? No. Uh, well, there you are then. What no. are you complaining about? No, it was all good. Come on, man up. <laughs> so, uh, that, yeah, that's coming to an end, and you're all. Yeah. You, you'll know how you met your mother and stuff. And yeah. <laughs> no one seems to uh, understand that still. What, the how you met your mother thing? It's, no, well, it's not my mother. That would be weird. You never met, you've never met your own mother? It's the... Jeez, man, I, I'm sorry I told you to man up. That sounds awful. <laughs> well, it is therapy, so I'm glad yeah, we're talking yeah. about the mother. Yeah, yeah. Well, so you... you what are you going to do? Uh, go on vacation or something? I would like to, yeah. What I, gotta, I want to get out of town. Yeah, you should. Get out, get out of your hair yeah. a little bit. Watch where do you, that man out Where do you hair. go? <clears throat> I think I'd like to go to Iceland. Yeah? I'm not going to go there. <laughs> No. Really? Uh, no. You intrigue me. Why? Are you a well, racist about Iceland? <laughs> yes. No, I just think, you know, nine years of uh, shooting a show, it's that, that's not the first place that pops into my head. Well, think about it again. Iceland, renowned for the most beautiful women in Northern Europe. Is that right? 
I just made it up, but it's possibly <laughs> true. It, it could be true. Yeah. yeah. Um, when was I on this show? I, a couple years ago, right? Uh, I think it was like five. Five years six, ago. Six, yeah. So, yeah. We had a, um, I remember we had a great talk about books. Oh, I don't read anymore. No, you do. No. I heard a story that you, because we talked about Lawrence Block. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's still a friend of mine, Larry. I spoke to him at the weekend. Actually. Yes, but I heard York. that you forced him to write another Matthew Scudder book. I did, right? yeah, yeah. I shamed him into it. I love that. Yeah, yeah, it was good. Have you read it? Oh, I haven't read it. What is the new one? What's the one you forced him to write? Oh, gosh, I can't remember what it's called now. Uh, something about Die or, die or Else soon. or something, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, but did you physically, did you coerce him into writing the book? Like, well, I didn't. It sounds like know, misery. I, like, I didn't of, like, hold him down and yeah, cut yeah, his yeah. foot off you, or anything. Yeah. No, I, no, I just, I passively ag aggressively suggested that it yeah. was something that he maybe want to do. I think that's great that you Yay. have this power. <laughs> okay, to that, call people you love and it's uh, time, entertain me. It's time for you to write a book. Is that right? Why not? Maybe this time. Go to Iceland and write a novel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here doing research. Don't write a novel about me. No, about the beautiful women of Iceland. Ah, ah. good idea. Yeah. <laughs> you know, maybe I should do this novel with you. I, oh, I read your book. What one? I've written two books. The, uh, to your none so Amer far. American by choice? Is that what it's called? American on purpose. American on purpose. That's my autobiography. I liked I it very much. That, that actually happened. I liked it very much. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I, made an, I wrote another book that was a novel, and I made a lot of that up. Yeah, you did. Yeah. Yeah. Most of it was lies. Yeah. Well, where are you going to go on vacation, though? I want to know that at least before you go. I got to figure it out. I don't know. Um, somewhere with some sun, maybe. Although I, I get bored in, in, like, tropical climes with nothing to do, really. Like, well, what about um, L.A.? I sometimes get bored. It hasn't been, well, it hasn't been very tropical here lately. The last well, har harrowing three days. Yeah, a bit monsoony. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Uh, no, I, I, I had to learn how to surf for a movie um, this last, or two years ago. Um, I'm not a good surfer, but I enjoy it. Have you ever surfed? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. I, I liked it when, when it worked. It didn't work. I, I feel your pain. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? It's like, well, wait, I try to stand on this board and it wouldn't stay still. Yeah, and the yeah. ground keeps shifting. I'm from Ohio, though, so it's a landlocked place. It's not a lot of surfing I didn't in Ohio. grow up surfing, yeah, yeah. no. No. Well, okay then. We're done. Yeah? Yeah. Imagine this was Friday. Yeah. And it was, you know, when you guys finish shooting. Yeah. This is what it'll feel like. No, no, we already finished. Oh, you finished last Friday? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, it's like that then. <laughs> so you're done? I was much more emotional. I oh, bet. Oh, I yeah. didn't realize you were done. I thought yeah, you yeah, finished yeah. this no, we week. We finished Friday. Are you yeah. okay, man? You okay? I'm okay. You okay? Yeah. I'm okay. No, I'm totally fine. It was a lot, you know, it was a perfect time to end the show. Sure, sure. <laughs> Are you pretending now, or...? Your show debuted the same year our show did, right? Nine years? You... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, but I'm still here. Yeah. <laughs> Are you upset about it? How's that going? You know... <laughs> I'm okay. Uh... Uh, do you want me to talk to someone at the network about treating you better? They wouldn't know who you're talking about. <laughs> Josh Rodder, everybody! What did we learn on the show tonight, Greg? <laughs> Jeffrey. Yes, Greg. Did you learn anything on the show tonight? I did. I did, actually. You did? Yeah. What did you learn? Well, I, I was more inspired, rather, to write my own book of my life story. Really? What's it going to be called? <laughs> Many oranges I have known. 